Hi there, welcome to my Mythojs tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an application using Mythojs along with JSX. I'm going to be making requests to Type Code's user API and uh, I'll use that to pull out the users from the API and then use that in the smart component and pass it down to dumb components. Smart components essentially are responsible for handing all of the complex logic whereas dumb components are only responsible for receiving information and displaying the information that you give it. Um, just to quickly add on top of that, with smart components, it doesn't just handle you know, making requests and complex logic, but it also manages state as well, which you will see. So let's let's get cracking. So inside the my application already, I have webpack config.js, which basically just contains the traditional setup entry output module as well as resolve i also included the plugins as well and i basically just said okay include mithril by default include the mithril library and pass it to this end property so that i won't have to keep on including it and importing it in every single um, application that uh, every single component that i have so inside my src file i have dumb components which i said is for displaying data and i have smart components which are responsible for you know handling state and dealing with handling requests and stuff like that and then i have styles which just basically contains the sas files which i don't think we're really going to be using at this point in time for the sake of the time and the demo and then we have index.js. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to add, I'm going to start building this application. We have about eight minutes to go. And that's the time I'm aiming for to keep it short and concise. And hopefully you'll be able to get it. I mean, Mythojs is just absolutely good. I like it anyway. So here we are. So what I'm going to say first is, okay, Mithril, I want to, I want to mount this application in the document body, right? And I'm going to quickly, uh, mount my first component which is going to be the app component now I want to import <clears throat> app component from smart app .js, right now right now it doesn't exist in smart so we're going to create that file app.js right and I'm going to say export default app component now I'm going to create a class component instead I could use a function or I could use an object literal but in this case for the smart component I like it to be a class now there are certain hooks in mythojs um, you have on init which basically is run before the component is rendered on the dom and placed into the dom on the other hand if i wanted to create uh, if i wanted to have access to the dom and other things around the component after the component has been placed on the dom then i'd use the on create um, hook but in this instance i only want to use the on init and inside the um, on init hook i have uh, I'm, I'm going to make a request here by using Mithril's own um, request object or method and I say m.request https json placeholder.typeco.com forward slash users and I'm going to say okay then the response with the response I want to say this.data.users equals res and I'm going to say uh, catch the error I'm just going to log it for now and then finally, when all else is done, I want to just say this dot data dot loading oops, equals false, right? So there we go. Now, where's data going to come from? Well, data is just going to be a property I have over here. So we'll have loading, which will be set to true by default when the application loads. And I have users, which is just an array. Now, how do I display this data? Well, similar to how you'd have render as a method in React classes, which aren't really used anymore. I'm going to be using the view method. That's how Mythro has ordered it. Oops, DVI, you know. Div. Div. Oh, what's going on with me today? Okay. And I'll just quickly just display the actual data itself. So I'll just say display the data null and to indent by two spaces. Now let's have a look. I'm just going to hit save and let's see what this looks like. There we go. So we've got loading as false and we've got the users. Now, what I want to do is inside the app component, I'm going to say that for each of the users, I want to map it and pass it into user, what we see, which we see right here. And I'm going to say, okay, I want you to pass the user information as data into the user method here, right? <clears throat> So in fact, even better, I could just simply 
just pass the entire user object in there and there we are so with that being said let's see let's create the user component which i'm going to do it's a dumb component now like i said there are ways that you could create a component you can either use an object literal or you can use a function like react uh, with a functional approach using the user component i'm just going to say export default user component right with the user component here i would just simply do return an object view would be the method and then inside here i'll just pass in the the necessary information but for but for now just to show something different i'll just say okay let me create an object literal that contains view as a method right and it's not going to be an arrow function it's just going to be an ordinary method and here we are there we go now how do i retrieve this bit of information here i'd simply do that by first off looking at the v node virtual node right and what i'm going to do in here i'm just going to say console log v node and i'm going to just pass in over here just need two seconds i'm going to say i want to return a div tag I'm going to say user goes here. Now there's nothing going to be displayed here, right? Why? Because I've not imported the user object or the user component. So I'm going to say import user component from dumb user. Let's just get rid of this like this. There we go. User goes here. Now, if you actually take a look, I did do the login here, right? So if you actually take a look, we have the object here. So what does vnode spit out? Children, DOM, DOM size, events, instance, key, state, tag, text. And look at the attributes here. So all I really want to do is just display the name and probably probably just display the, the, um, the username as well. So what I'll do is I'll just say, okay, I want to display, first off, I want to destructure the attributes. And then in here, I'm just going to say, okay, from the attributes, right? I want to just retrieve the name and username and in here I'll just say okay so display the username then I want you to show this as well and that's it so if I hit refresh voila there we go we got all the names including the usernames and there are a number of other things I could do so for example if I wanted to create a and outputs right passing events i'd basically just say okay on user select for example i could just simply on user select and i'll simply just say okay here's an arrow function this dot handle user select like this with the user that's been retrieved from here and i'll create this method up here like this and i'll just say okay user and I'll simply just log the user in here. Let's just clear the console. So in fact, I want to clear the console. I'll just leave it like that. So now inside here, I could simply just destructure handle, not handle, but on user select. And then in here, I could just say, okay, on click, notice like Angular, Angular, um, not Angular, sorry, React would have on click like this, but Mithril doesn't do that. So inside there, I'll just simply say, okay, on user like this, on user select, and I'll just pass in the ID. And over here, I'll just say, okay, I only want to extract the ID out of it, right? And pass in, and over here, I'll just say, okay, let's just rename this to user ID, use this to user ID, user ID, and user ID. Save that and refresh. And if you take a quick look, when I click on each user, look what happens here. One, two, nine, ten. There we go. And uh, to find the user, simply just do this console.log this.data.users.find where user user.id equals user ID. And if I just do a quick click on here, there we go. And there we go.